Hi everybody. It's Sunday the 27th. Today I went out and uh, I've been working a lot of overtime so I don't typically go out on weekdays and Saturdays I also work overtime so um, <clears throat> I don't go out Saturdays. Anyway, uh, I had to go out and get some things and I also specifically stopped at a few stores uh, that I did need to shop at. So the first one I went to was Target and they finally had some basics up and uh, so I picked up the Ford Focus RS. You know, I don't remember when this came out, but with this paint job, it looks like a totally brand new first edition car. So I don't know when it came out, but it's not all, you know, it's got your plain sport, sport stripe, all right? And this is copyright 2021, and it looks like it's a B case. If you can see that, B case. Um, it only looked like maybe there was like one or two cases on the shelf, I mean, but it had been picked through anyway, so they're not getting a lot, I guess. Okay, I picked up the Mercedes Benz A Class. And what is this? Hot Wheels Hatchbacks. Okay, so both of these are the Hot Wheels Hatchback series. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Again, this is B case. All right. Uh, what we got here in Hot Wheels Turbo, the 16 Cadillac ATS-VR. I do like this one. This is cool. It's a shame it doesn't have any tampo in the back, but yeah, it's nice. Uh, new for 2022, Mock It Go. So, track core. Hot Wheels Speed Team. <clears throat> this has some weight to it. So I bet that would be really good on the track. Here's another one that looks really, like it really be good on the track. Um... Fusion Busta, and this is Hot Wheel Dream Garage. I don't remember picking this one up before, so, and it's not a new model. And this is a D case, and this is 2021. Okay, so maybe they did have some different ones. case. Here's new for 2022. Count Muscular. This is kind of an interesting car. This is neat. And I didn't know this car's got a special feature. So the air dam must move. Yeah, air dam. Front splitter. And this is a D case. Maybe they had a couple cases, I didn't realize it. <clears throat> also in Hot Wheels from Target, and the only reason I picked this up is I don't play video games, but I'm aware of Mario, Super Mario. I'm aware of, you know, uh, Donkey Kong and all that stuff. Um, so this is not specifically something I collect, but normally this is like $25 or $24 at Target. Well, it was $4 off. And let me see if I can find the receipt. And then I used my Target red card, so I got an additional 5% off of that, off the total sale. So, um, yeah, it was one sale for $19.99. It was regular $23.99. So I picked this up uh, only because you know, less than five dollars for the car, and they, they do have some good detail and with the figures in there. Uh, it's 
So your CNE's all over the place. They're like shelf warmers because they never had these hanging up on the pegs. But if they do in your store, then they're peg warmers. But in my stores, they're shelf warmers. All right. Also from Target. Now, interesting enough, and I said this in the last video, that the Matchbox 5-packs are $4.69 and with New Jersey tax, that makes them an even $5, which is kind of interesting, that the 5-packs for Matchbox are cheaper than the individual cars. Uh, but I want to collect the, uh, the uh, National Park one that they have here, or the Park Ranger ones. I'm not a big fan of that one. Um, it's a licensed model. There's a licensed model for park or police or whatever it is. And then um, the wheels on that are cool. So we got a Ford Interceptor Utility, the Jeep Cherokee, and two Matchbox Originals. Um, even though that the helicopter is original, at least it's the park, okay, the national parks, whatever it is. So I got that at Target, and this is another five pack I got. And the problem is, I don't know if I picked this up before because I like the Alfa Romeo uh, Julia, and that's an Infinity. Where's the Chevy truck? What's that? It's a Honda Civic hatchback, and that's a basic. It's an original from Matchbox. I don't know if I got this before. If I got it before, then I'll return it. Okay, so I got that. Um, then I went to... Um, Sorry. Then I went to Target. I'm sorry. I was already at Target. Then I went to um, Walmart. We did the Hot Wheels first. Um, they put out something, so their pegs were like full, but they didn't have any dump bins or anything. Um, Humvee. This is now a plastic body with um, metal base. Um, just something different, okay? And what case is this? This is a C case, and this is 2021. And so it's a C case. It's not focusing. Darn it. Sorry about that. Anyway, it's a C case, all right? I really have to get a stand for this. I'm sorry. New for 2022, bricking trial. So you take your minifigures and stuff. All right. Uh, so it's a plastic body, metal base. It does have some meat to it. And um, it does come apart. That B cases in baseball. B. Uh, B case. What else did I get? Uh, Hot Wheels Turbo Series, the 85 Honda City Turbo 2. Just because it was in a different color. Not really one of my favorites, it's really small. But for its size, it does have uh, a lot of weight. So, it's only got tampo on the front, hood, and the doors and the rear quarter. All right. 
two more Hot Wheels. Skull Shaker is always a cool model. I don't know, I think the blue head with the, uh, with the gray body looks good. Uh, I think we've all seen Skull Shaker before. Shake and go, it says. And this is a B case as well. And this came out, this is 2021 as well, B case. New for 2022, Sweet Driver. It's a Ryu Rides. I guess he was one of the designers. I guess this was in the process before the man unfortunately had passed away from uh, cancer. Um, you notice the, uh, the side here is the Hot Wheels Flame logo. Kind of cool. So it's a metal base. Obviously, the cupcake there looks from the plastic, but it does have a lot of, uh, it does have some weight to it. Alright. And that's the Fast Foodie series. And what I got more in Matchbox from Walmart. Alright, so, um, I got the 94 Mitsubishi 4000 GT. And this is 64 of 102. I remember when these cars were really, really, really popular. It's got the Mitsubishi Star on the front, rear deco. Volkswagen Beetle convertible orange. I don't like the color. I think it would look better in white or yellow or black or blue. Heck, I think it looked better in pink. I just don't like orange. All right. Um, this is a 2021. It came out. These cars I did see at my local supermarket, and I didn't pick them up because the supermarket's more expensive, but, you know, they're 90, like, supermarket's $1.09 a car, and uh, Walmart's 94 cents. Um, 1969 Curtis Sports Car. So, based on a real model. I'm sorry, I said 69. It's 1949. Sports car, 49. Here we got the Nissan NV van. And yeah, it does have a tow hook. It does have a tow hook on the back. I don't know if it's showing up in all that plastic, but you can see it more from like back here. Okay. Move it on. 2018 Dodge Durango. This one also has a tow hook. A little bit easier to see, I think. 2018 Dodge Durango. Twenty Jeep Gladiator. No tow hook. Alright, 20 feet clear. Audi RS Coupe. And the last one, 2011 Mini Countryman. That's it. That was my haul. Oh, one more. Oop, almost forgot. Um, I had to stop at AutoZone, and um, they did have an entertainment series car in stock, and um, 
so I picked up the Batmobile. Um, so, pretty sure it's Entertainment Series, the new Batmobile from the Batman, and uh, Real Riders, Metal Metal, and uh, it's a copyright, copyright's 2021 too. So anyway, that's it. That is my haul today. Um, I actually, thinking about it, these Mario Karts look pretty good. Um, but I think my favorite individual one is the, Cad is the Cadillac. I like the Cadillac a lot. I don't think of it. I, I do like this one, too. So... And in Matchbox, I think that my favorite is always going to be the Alpha Julia. And it's the Alpha Romeo Julia Sprint GTA. For some reason, that I just love that body. There's just something about it I really love. Anyway, um, leave your comments below. Um, like, share, and subscribe. And... Um, any questions, I'll be happy to answer, and I hope you all have a good week.